and welcome to Curry TV. My name is Sumi and I'm here to show you how to make a Koi Fusion Burrito, inspired Koi Fusion Burrito. This is not the authentic version of Koi Fusion Burrito, but this is the closest version of mine style Koi Fusion Burrito. Now, if those of you who are not familiar with what's a Koi Fusion Burrito, it's actually very known here in the Northwest of Portland. So if you haven't tried it, please go check it out. Um, and if you desire and you're not in Portland, definitely try this recipe. This is the closest one we will get to it. So for this, I'll be using a good selection of beef. Now you don't have to stick with beef. You can choose any type of your meat, chicken, pork, beef, whatever. That's fine, that's your choice. Whatever you choose, you need to marinate it overnight. That's the best results. Now for this recipe, let's take a look at all the ingredients that we'll be using, all right? This is 1.5 pounds of beef. It has a nice uh, fat going in through the meat, so that's my selection. And I find it very helpful when I'm actually um, cooking it. It actually helps absorb all the flavors in and as we marinate. So that's that. And we'll also be using Korean barbecue sauce, which is also known as Kabi marinade. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna get a little bit of fresh ginger and garlic. This is four garlics that I have chopped up very like so, right? Four garlic. And this is a small piece of ginger that I have thinly sliced, okay? So the marination is actually very simple. All you gotta do is put everything into a Ziploc bag and put it in your fridge. And I'll show you what all the ingredients that we'll be needing for to make their burrito. Okay, this is very well washed beef. Like I mentioned, it's, it has a nice selection of fat ren rendering through this. So that will actually help with our marination. So let's add all of this into our Ziploc bag. Very good. Let's dump in all of our garlic. That's four cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger. You don't have to use these, but I like mine a little um, kind of like, you know, a spicy, but not as tangy because this Korean barbecue sauce is kind of nice and sweet. Well, I guess this uh, garlic and ginger will enhance the flavors of this. So this is again, Korean barbecue sauce. It already comes with sesame seed. So that's what I, my uh, selection. If you like to add onion or onion powder, you could do that. But I'll be using onion in a different form when I'm making my burrito. So I'm gonna opt out of that for now. So when you buy these um, sauce, right, they have a measuring thing here. So how it depends on how much, um, how big of your meat is, you can, it, the bottle mentions how much to pour it in. So for this packet, I would need this quarter of this bo um, bottle. Okay. After you open the sauce, you gotta put it back in the fridge. So that's very, very important. Or if you have other recipes, do it all together. Okay. Now, now is the fun part actually. We need to marinate, massage this meat with all that flavor, which is the Korean barbecue sauce, the um, garlic and ginger. If you like to add chili flakes, that is also a great compliment. But I'm gonna be using this for a, a chunk of my friends coming over. So I don't know if they like it too spicy or what. So I'm just gonna stick at that later. It's time to massage our meat. Now, as I showed you, this is top round sirloin beef, which I've thinly sliced so that it's easier to handle when cooking. If you buy this two cut, it's also fine, but I would rather go with the long slender meat. So our part one is done, marinating the beef. Next, I will show you how to cook this as well as all the ingredients that we'll be needing to create that burrito, that inspiring Koi Fusion burrito. So hang on and I'll be right back. So the night is still young. I'm gonna throw this into my fridge and then I'm gonna come back in the morning and I'm gonna show you how we get this rolling. 
Hello and welcome to Curry TV. So for, without further ado, let me show you what all the ingredients that I will be using for this recipe. So this has been marinating for overnight in my fridge. That is ready to go. And I did that in a Ziploc bag because it's easier to manage when I'm planning for my week. Yeah, so it saves time, saves energy, saves, you know, planning makes it easier. So I have coleslaw, fresh homemade coleslaw. This I have a recipe already on my channel. If you don't know how to make it, please check that out. Or if you already know, make your version of coleslaw and let's get going. Ha! Ah. So this is, can you guess what this is? I'm not gonna say right now, but can you guess what this is? Those of you, all my Asian friends, please comment down below what, what do you think this is? And to my friends who doesn't know what this is, this is actually kimchi. It's actually Napa cabbage fermented over a period of time. It has a little bit of fish in like one form, uh, such as anchovies or baby shrimp, um, crushed and um, fermented along with this Napa um, cabbage. And then it's been, uh, you can buy this in your local Asian grocery market. Um, just go buy a nice brand one. I have a picture in my description box below which one I chose and you would need about, it depends because this has a big kick to it, right? Kids may not like this much, very uh, very much, but adults will love it, definitely will love it because we are gonna be mixing it with our sticky rice. Speaking of the devil or speaking of the rice, this is actually sticky rice, the sushi version. It, sticky rice comes in different forms. You can use sticky rice, jasmine rice, many ri varieties, right? This is a Japanese style sushi rice. It's really sticky, as you can say, boop, one whole bump, right? And um, I like to add veggies into my burrito. Koi Fusion Burrito does come with veggies, but this is actually um, kidney beans, black kidney beans been cooked you can buy this in a carton, you can buy this in a can form, reheat it in your oven or in your microwave, or you can just make this at home the way you like it. If you want me to show you that video, please comment down below. Now, this, my friend, is bean sprouts, moon sprouts, okay? You can make them at home, it takes a lot, maybe two, three days. Or you can go to your grocery store and buy one of these. It's $1.99 or so. But if you have that, it's also a great crunch to your burrito. Definitely do this, all right? Don't opt out of this one. Anything else, I wouldn't be so much. But this one, you definitely got to have this, okay? So this is actually in um, California-grown um, mung bean sprouts, which you can find it in your local regular grocery store or in an Asian market. Now, the veggies that I'm gonna be using for my burrito are carrots, very slender and thin. Yeah, I wish I was that thin, but not, reality <laughs> kicks in, right? So I got some carrots, I got some English cucumbers, and I got some lettuce. Lettuce is, you could use iceberg, you could use any of your choice, romaine, whatever. But I like this Asian um, lettuce, which actually holds together all our ingredients when we put it into our burrito, which comes like so. Burritos come in different shapes, sizes. So you have the small version for the kids, if you want, or the medium, you know, teenagers, somewhat teenagers, they will like that. And this, is my friend, is your style, okay? You and I will fill in this one, all right? So this is the tortilla version. And we need to toast that over the stove. I'll show you that too. And to jazz it a bit, I know you do. I really know you do like to jazz up your burrito. You can use pickled jalapenos or pickled pepperoncinis. Those two are great combinations with this recipe. Please do try it and let me know. You don't gotta have too much, all right? Just a few will go a long ways. And if you don't like any of that, skip to this sriracha baby, okay? This is the chili paste. Just squeeze a bit in there and you're good to go, right? We have variety of uh, preferences in the house. So I'll be making multiple versions of 
this burrito for my kids and my family, right? So without further ado, let's start our stove. Okay, our pan is nice and hot. So let's get the party going. So we're gonna take the slices, the beef slices, which been marinating overnight in my fridge and lay them into our pan. There's nothing in there, no oil, nothing in there, right? It's going to cook and it's on. It's going to be fast too. Okay, I think I got everybody out of here. Yeah? Let's get cooking. Okay? So my temperature is at 370 on my stove, which is about above medium heat. Right? That's what we need. And we're going to cover this and cook for. This will take about 15 minutes or so to, for it to be completely cooked. But if you like medium rare, you might get it at uh, 7 to 8 minutes, right? For this quantity. Again, this is 1.5 pounds of beef sirloin round cut that I have marinated overnight in my Korean barbecue sauce along with some ginger and garlic. It's really important that you do that, right? Otherwise, you won't get the authentic my style of Korean fusion burrito. You might get some burrito, but you won't get my version. If you're okay with that, that's fine. All right, so while our beef is cooking, let's get our tortillas ready because we want it to be ready for us. Not we should wait for that, right? Come on, we are living in the modern world. We should wait for that? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so for that, I need to go to my other stuff where I have a Indian Tava, whatever you want to call it, right? A griddle. It's flat. If you don't have this, use this one, right? Or the, you just get a non-stick skillet, okay? Get it on high. Let that baby go. And we're gonna toast this tortilla. Make sure you press on all edges so it gets really nice and soft. And we want it to be coming to a nice, cool temperature before we put it into a wrap because if you put it right away to the wrap it will stick to that foil or wrap parchment paper right and when you're biting into it you have bits and pieces of foil in it we don't want that so let's keep that aside and while that pan is heating up I'm gonna get all my tortillas ready and I have like I said uh, my nine-year-old uh, Mua Ri yes yes and my seven-year-old right and my two adults and my teenager right teenagers sorry teenagers i don't want my boys to feel offended oh my gosh okay um so i have that now i did not talk to you about kidney beans the kidney beans you don't have to cook it so into fine paste but if you do have it into a fine paste you can use this as a dip too that's a bonus along with this recipe. So try it out, yeah? I hope you will, because it's pretty simple putting together, like, you know, putting a puzzle together. That's what it is. I challenge you. Make this burrito as a puzzle for your family and see if they like it. Because if you, they haven't tried this Koi Fusion burrito, you'll be the hero. Shh. I won't peep. Now, this is not the authentic version. The Koi Fusion itself has its own taste. I don't know what their secret ingredients are, but this is my recipe. And I'm not claiming any credits for whatsoever, so don't kill me. I'm just the messenger, right? Oh, it smells so good, even with the lid on. Okay. The pan is nice and hot, so I'm going to start. So take your tortilla and lay it down and press you can do this with the spatula but this is more what I like it will start having its own bubbles here and there that you know it's actually toasting it's about 10 or 15 seconds on each side look at this right there's bubbles forming on this and I have a plate ready 
where I am going to place this on. All right, so I'm back. I got all my tortillas done, varieties, sizes. So when you go to your local grocery store, right, choose which variety you like. Either it comes with corn tortilla or flour tortilla, whichever one that you want. Choose that variety and um, just toast it a bit because it, t it tastes much better when it's toasted, right? So I got all my varieties. If you're wrapping this in a foil, let this cool completely before you do that. This is going to be cooling off onto the side while I check on my beef. Right, you want to see how my beef is looking, right? Beefy and juicy. <laughs> Woo. All right. It's been about nine minutes. Let's give it a good stir. I can tell my beef is not completely done. So I'm just gonna cover this and before I do that, I'm gonna pour in a little bit of my marinade, which is that Korean barbecue sauce to enhance the flavor. At this stage, if you add, if you want to add some green onions, scallions, or some uh, red chilies, or um, thinly sliced onions, you can do all that. It will taste even better. But I feel there's enough crunch in my veggies that I have selected so far, so I'm just leaving up that option out. But if you like to, the floor is yours. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's cover this and cook for another five minutes. It'll be done. I'm feeling hungry. All right, so let's check. After five minutes, I did turn it off and our beef is well done, yes. So if you like it well done, wait for 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, it depends on your quantity of beef. If you like medium to rare, then you pull it out at uh, eight minutes or so. That's, that's how this looks like, right? Okay, now we're just gonna assemble everything together. All right, so it's all done. Let's get going. So here's two options. If you're gonna serve it right away, you can plate it. Or if you're gonna wrap this for your kids for lunch or for yourself for lunch, take a foil like so and wrap it in that, right? So I'll show you two versions of that. First, the first one is gonna be on my plate. So take mini moi, right? And have your lettuce first. Okay, your lettuce is your base. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, so we got the lettuce. Now, there's no number. Put some ca uh, carrots in, put some cucumbers in. Now this is the English cucumber. And next goes in our bean sprout. This is a generous amount, okay? There we go. This is all the protein that we need, right? Next, we're just bundling this up, right? It's like a baby. Yeah, exactly. Now, when you're making your star, um, rice, make sure you wash it a couple of times because you don't want that extra starch in your burrito, okay? If you want me to put a video on how to make your own uh, rice, I'll show you that. Piece of cake. Now, this is homemade coleslaw okay so koi fusion is all about um, you know Mexican um, Asian and American combined so there's no right and wrong version of it at least that's what I understand right and a little bit of kimchi right okay and now we're gonna go with a little bit of a dab of our black bean next goes in our sriracha. Very good. Now comes the hero. Let's take a couple pieces of our um, beef, lay it out, right? You're generous, not stingy, right? You better go for a workout after this one. 
man, the f taste itself is out of this world. Now you can wrap it up and then enjoy. That's one way. Or you could make it into a burrito and grill it. And if you like to add cheese, at this stage, add cheese and it'll be even better. I can't have cheese, therefore I'm not adding any cheese to this. And this is one of my kids' preference. Voila! Now for the real ones. Let me show you how to make it into a burrito. Okay, let's get the big guys. Okay. Lay it down flat. Make sure it's completely cooled off, right? First step, what did you do? What did you have first? Put your lettuce in. And then you put your, yes, that's right, carrots in. I see you guys, yes. Next goes your cucumber in and your rice. That's right, that's right. You guys learned it all so fast, my gosh. How easy is that? Okay. Now goes a dab of our kidney beans, right? A little bit of our kimchi. Trade secret, don't tell anybody. A little bit of our coleslaw. Homemade coleslaw is the best. I inspire you to make one at home. Very easy, simple, right? I'm sure you have all the ingredients at home. If not, just go buy a cabbage. I know the rest is all in the house, okay? This is my husband's spicy version. He likes it really spicy, right? <laughs> They're just gonna jazz it up for him, okay? A little bit of the pepperoncinis. Now here comes the big boys. And that is the jalapenos. Okay, we got everybody, except for one person. We're gonna pile them with a hell of a lot of, uh, excuse my language, a lot of our protein, which is our bean sprout. Okay, now goes in our sriracha sauce. He wants it spicy. Let's jazz him up. Ooh, 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 ooh. There. We're gonna give him a nice big chunk of the beef, right? We love him dearly, so we don't wanna over fat him. Okay, now you know the technique. Close it in, your lettuce is your baby, you wrap it in, bring it all together, right? There we go. I hope you will try this recipe out and leave your comments, your valuable comments down below. Now if you are going to work or if you are going to school, you want to do this, or if you're going for a picnic, whatever the occasion is, wrap it up, babe. Okay? Wrap it all up so that way it stays warm. You can label them. It's very friendly, very easy on cleanup. And it's done. All right, so you just learned how to make our famous Koi Fusion Burrito. Not the authentic version, my version of the Koi Fusion Burrito. Always they will add more tasty, much healthier stuff in there. This is what I picked up, all right? This is not the authentic version, but give it a try. It's an absolute favorite in our household. So thank you so much for tuning into Curry TV. I hope you will enjoy this recipe and those many in our channel. And thanks so much for supporting us by subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon, right? And if you haven't done so and yet still watching, thank you. I see you. We'll see you next time, right? Thank you. Bye-bye.